because they're in our red zone. I didn't have time to think about oh what just happened. It was time to uh, you know buckle down and you know try to hold them out of the red zone. And did it affect you at all the rest of that game? I didn't think so. Um, you know I felt very comfortable flying around trying to make as many plays as I could. Um, you know you just got to play your style of football and you know like I said the rest will make the call as they see just. Helmet to helmet involves two helmets. How were you after that? Uh, I was pretty good. You know, I, w I was stunned for a second, but, um, you know, nothing serious. I, I, I felt good. Like I said, I was able to. And I think the, the great part about it was, uh, you know, there was some time for me to collect my thoughts, you know, talk with Q, go over what just, had just happened. And, um, you know, I was ready to go once we uh, snapped the buttons. All signs point to you'll get your first start on Monday Night Football. How big is that uh, on the national stage that you'll get your first first start? It's going to be great. Uh, it's going to be a, a great test for myself and this team. You know, Washington beat us the first time around at our home, so now we're going to, uh, to their place, and uh, we got to get a W. Uh, we, we have a good trend, a good, uh, good feeling around here, a good vibe, so I think this is, uh, it's a great test for us you know, to go on for the next half of the season. Kurt, I mean, you're, you're a four-year starter at Ohio State. You played a lot of night games in front of bigger crowds that you're going to see at FedEx Field. Bigger games, Michigan implications, national championship type of. Do, so, like, do you feel like this isn't like you're different than maybe a different kind of rookie who may have only had two years of college or didn't play some of the biggest games? I mean, do you feel like you're more prepared. Yeah, to I, I, you know, truthfully, as far as big crowds, big situations, um, you know, I, I deal with pressure you know, very well. Um, you know, I don't dwell on anything too much. You know, I don't overthink this this Monday night game. It, it's a game against a great opponent and I have to play my style of defense. I have to play within this defensive scheme and we have to get a, go in there and get a W. Um, you know, don't overthink any situation, really. And I think that's how I'm going to play. I'm going to play loose. I'm going to have a lot of fun. I'm going to be smiling. I'm going to be hitting. It sounds like you and Nate almost have very, it's like the team stumbled upon two guys who really <laughs> kind of even keeled as far as that goes. Yeah, I think he's even more even keeled than I am. Uh, <laughs> To be honest with you, but uh, you know, you just you gotta handle each situation, you know, with with an open mind, open, you know, open heart, and have fun. You know, I'm not gonna stress myself out over the situation. I played football my whole life, and uh, that's, that's all it is: playing football, playing within the uh, the scheme. How do the two atmospheres compare? Like a big college game compared to an NFL game? I think at times the crowd's a little bit louder in college, but. Um, you know, there's, there's, it's, it's, it's similar. You know, playing in a national championship game and playing on a Monday night football game, I just think uh, one might have a little more weight than the other. But really, it's, it's, you know, playing under high pressure situations. How do you deal with it? Do you tense up or do you play loose? I play loose. I guess you did play in that. Yeah. Was it the LSU game? Was yeah. it the national title game? Mm -hmm. it was, it was, it was, yeah. Were you? Do you remember how you felt before that game? Were I was you, actually. You know, that's funny that you asked <laughs> that because uh, that's really where I learned. Uh, just to be loose because I was really, uh, I was almost gassed before we even started playing because I was so excited uh -huh. and my adrenaline was pumping. And, uh, you know, after that situation, I learned that I had to just calm myself down at it before every game. And that's why I listen to R&B before I play. <laughs> <laughs> but that was the LSU game, right? Yes. Um, can you talk a little bit about what Chris Cooley poses as a challenge for you guys? You know, I, I, he's very similar to Dallas Clark as far as, you know, wide receiver, but he's a tight end. So he uh, you know, presents a lot of matchup problems. So it's, it's going to be a tough challenge because, you know, Donovan does like to go to him, and he finds himself open, you know, even if he's covered, he's going to get open. So it's, uh, he's, a, he's a great, uh, great tight end. He's a great tight end, and I think it's going to be another problem for us, but uh, we got to be able to rise to it. Do you think the fact that